I just stumbled upon something big, something that ties into the hypothesis that Daenerys Targaryen is going to die in childbirth, unfortunately. That's not what this video is about though. This video is proof that Viserys' death did not pay for Viserion's life. Let's get to it. So Illyrio gave Danny three eggs from the Shadowlands beyond the Shy, but the Eons had turned the eggs to stone. No one expected them to hatch, no one except Danny. She tried a couple times unsuccessfully, but then she met a Meiji, Miri Mazdor, who taught Danny that only death pays for life. Danny was just a child, but children grow and children learn. So Danny thanked Miri for this lesson. She hatched the dragons and she survived the fire. Danny told Miri that it was not her screams that she wanted, only her life. And the man himself, George R. R. Martin, has said that Danny is not immune to fire. So presumably, Danny survived the fire by stealing Miri Mazdor's own life fire. Miri's death paid for Danny's life. But what about the eggs? Danny somehow hatched three eggs, eggs that were stone. Danny named the three hatchlings Drogon, Rhaegal, and Viserion, in memory of her late husband Khal Drogo and her two late brothers, Rhaegar and Viserys. In Book 2, Danny alluded to Khal Drogo, Rhaegal, and Miri paying for the lives of her dragons, so some fans believe that, but that line is misleading, we'll get back to that. Nowadays, most fans, myself included until earlier today, most fans believe that Khal Drogo's death paid for Drogon, Danny's unborn child Rhaegal paid for Rhaegal's life, and Viserys' death paid for Viserion. Because it's poetic, the names match and the death in the hatching order also matches. Viserys died before Rhaegal, who died before Drogo, and that's the order the eggs hatched in, Viserion, then Rhaegal, then Khal Drogo. And in the show, the Night King has Viserion. Viserys was mean to Danny, and Viserion might be mean to Danny in season 8. So this hypothesis holds water. That's why many of us have believed it, but I've got something new, something better. Viserys, the wine cellar, and Khal Drogo. These are the three people that Danny actually killed. Danny killed Khal Drogo as mercy, and she killed Viserys too, in a way. Khal Drogo decides to do it himself, and Danny does not object. But it's worth noting that in the show, Eri translates what Viserys is saying to Drogo. But in the books, Danny does. She basically threw her brother under the bus, and you can't blame her. Viserys had just threatened her child's life. And fun fact, Khal Drogo uses the medallions on his belt, which is a nod to a scene that happened right before this, when Danny tried giving Viserys a belt of his own. He slapped her, and she smashed it across his face. So Danny directly killed Khal Drogo, and she indirectly killed her brother. There's one that everyone's forgetting, and that's the wine cellar. We did not see him die, but here's what Danny thinks. Here are the last two lines of that chapter. As she rode, he ran after her, barefoot and stumbling. No harm would come to him, so long as he kept up. Ooh, vicious. And I say that in a good way, because the dude had just tried to kill her and her unborn baby. But the point is, Danny killed these three people. And here's a fun fact. Horses are very important to Dothraki culture, right? These three men each lost their horses, in a way. And losing your horse is symbolic of death. A Kal who could not ride, could not rule. And Drogo had fallen from his horse. Then we've got Viserys. Uh, 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 uh. You walk. Danny took away Viserys' horse. She made him walk, and as she's thinking about that in the books, she has a vision of scarlet flame around the eggs, foreshadowing Viserys' death paying for one of the dragon's lives. And as we just said, Danny killed the wine cellar by dragging him behind her horse. He was on foot. So Danny killed these three people, and these are the three who lost their horses, symbolizing their deaths. These are the three people whose deaths gave life to the three dragon eggs. Question is, which person paid for which egg? The fan theory of Viserys, Rhaegal, and Drogo is pretty cool, since the names match, but I've got something better. Check out the placement of the dragon eggs. Danny placed Drogon's egg by Khal Drogo's heart. So Khal Drogo, Danny's love, his death paid for Drogon's life. And here's another fun fact. Every night, sometime before dawn, Drogo would come into Danny's tent and wake her in the dark. He would ride her relentlessly as he rode his stallion. He always took her from behind. One time, Danny touched Drogon's egg, and the stone felt strangely warm beneath her fingers. So this is an early foreshadowing of Khal Drogo's death paying for Drogon's life. But check this out. Danny eventually broke the wheel by telling Khal Drogo that she would look upon his face. And from then on, Danny rode him. Until she killed him, hatched Drogon, and then rode Drogon. Pretty cool. Here's one last clue that Drogo's death paid for Drogon's life. Danny had a fever dream when this is all going down. 
and Khal Drogo is the first to appear in Danny's fever dream. Khal Drogo is her sun and stars, yet suddenly the stars were gone, and across the blue sky swept the great wings, and the world took flame. So Khal Drogo's death paid for Drogon's life. We got that one right. Next up, Rhaegal. Danny placed Rhaegal's egg by Khal Drogo's head. Viserys died by a golden crown. Place him by the head, and death via a crown. Viserys' death paid for Rhaegal's life. And here's how we know that Viserys paid for at least one of the dragon's lives in the fever dream. Technically, after Khal Drogo, Danny sees Rhaegar in her fever dream. But Mance Raider might be Rhaegar, which means Rhaegar is still alive. And even if he's not, Danny did not kill Rhaegar. Plus, we learn at the end of the dream that it wasn't even Rhaegar. She raised the knight's visor, and the face was her own, Daenerys Targaryen, the last dragon. So the second person that Danny actually sees in this fever dream, after Khal Drogo, is her brother, Viserys. A clue that just like Khal Drogo, Viserys' death paid for the life of one of the dragons. So we've gone over Drogon and we've gone over Rhaegal, which leaves us one more, Viserion. Danny placed Viserion's egg between Khal Drogo's legs, near his private part. Remember, the wine cellar died naked, so the egg was placed near Khal Drogo's private part and the guy died naked. This suggests that the wine cellar paid for Viserion's life, which actually improves the Viserion traitor theory. Sure, Viserys was mean to Danny, but the wine cellar literally tried to kill her, which is what the Night King and Viserion are presumably going to do at the end of the story. And we have a clue from the fever dream for this one too. After Danny saw Viserys, she tries getting home to the red door that was so far ahead of her, and she could feel the icy breath behind, sweeping up on her. Icy breath representing the Night King. And we can take this one step further. After she feels the icy breath, Danny senses that she's losing Rago. She loses Rago, her son, his heart burning through his chest, which foreshadows the loss of Viserion, another child, as his heart exploded in fire. Not cool, Night King, not cool. And I get it, placing the egg by his private part could represent Rago, since Drogo used his magic sword to help create Rago but we're going to explain two videos from now why this does not represent Rago. So why is this all important? Why does it matter which person paid for which egg? Because now that we've included the wine cellar as one of the three, that means that Danny's unborn son, Rago, his death did not pay for the life of an egg. His death paid for something else. So this distinction is important, and it ties into Daenerys Targaryen's eventual and unfortunate death. But first, we need to explain something about the Night King. So hit subscribe to see the Night King video tomorrow, and then we'll tie both of these videos into the Daenerys Targaryen death video on Wednesday. Hit subscribe, stay tuned, catch you on the flip side.